Today, a young man on acid realized that all matter is merely energy condensed to a slow vibration, that we are all one consciousness experiencing itself subjectively. There is no such thing as death. Life is only a dream, and we are the imagination of ourselves. So that when I look up at the night sky, and I know that, yes, we are part of this universe, we are in this universe, but perhaps more important than both of those facts is that the universe is in us. When I reflect on that fact, I look up, Many people feel small because they're small and the universe is big, but I feel big because my atoms came from those stars. We've begun at last to wonder about our origins, star stuff, contemplating the stars, organized collections of 10 billion, billion, billion atoms, contemplating the evolution of matter tracing that long path by which it arrived at consciousness. The amazing thing is that every atom in your body came from a star that exploded. And the atoms in your left hand probably came from a different star than your right hand. It really is the most poetic thing I know about physics. You are all stardust. You couldn't be here if stars hadn't exploded because the elements, the carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, iron, all the things that matter for evolution weren't created at the beginning of time. They're created in the nuclear furnaces of stars, and the only way they can get into your body is if the stars were kind enough to explode. So forget Jesus. The stars died so that you could be here. There is a point. Is there a point to all this? Let's find a point. The world is like a ride at an amusement park, and when you choose to go on it, you think it's real, because that's how powerful our minds are. And the ride goes up and down and round and round. It has thrills and chills, and it's very brightly colored, and it's very loud, and it's fun for a while. Some people have been on the ride for a long time, and they begin to question, is this real, or is this just a ride? And other people have remembered, and they come back to us, and they say, hey, don't worry, don't be afraid, ever, because... change it any time you want. It's only a choice. No effort, no work, no job, no savings of money. A choice right now. It's between fear and love. The eyes of fear, once you put bigger locks on your door, buy guns, close yourself off. The eyes of love, instead, see all of us as one. Here's what we can do to change the world right now to a better ride. Take all that money we spend on weapons and defense each year and instead spend it feeding, clothing, and educating the poor of the world, which it would many times over, not one human being excluded, and we can explore space together, both inner and outer, forever in peace. Thank you.